Yo. <laughs> Woo, what I tell y'all, I was low key scared, man. Like I was saying, I almost went to jail at the Canada border. Yo, so we back, got another load. Matter of fact, matter of fact, what am I doing? What's up? What's up? You know what I mean? Stay, hey, we out here, man. We out here. Another load, chain, strap, 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 chain. Headed to New York. Headed to New York. Hopefully, drop off Friday. We're trying to see if we're going to pick up a load going to uh, Wisconsin. Sorry about that. I lied to y'all. Sorry about that. To Pennsylvania. We're going to see if we're going to get a load to Pennsylvania. Um, they still working on the details and everything. See if we're going to pick it up because we got to pick it up tomorrow, which is put us behind and delivering this to. I wasn't even recording, y'all. I wasn't even recording. Ain't that crazy? But what I was saying was. We're trying to drop this off Friday. If we, if we pick up that load in PA, we'll pick up the load and I will go into PA and then go to New York. But that'll put us behind because simply of the fact we got to pick it up tomorrow. Y'all know I don't want to miss out on no money, but I really don't want it because y'all see what the other steel loader did to my ramps. I don't know if it's going to work or whatever. Also, that's a lot of weight on the trailer because this load behind me weighed 2,000. The steel loader weighed 9,000. But we're trying to see, because we got a load from New York to Miami. We're trying to see if we can pick that up Monday. If Monday, we can pick it up Monday, I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. The other load, the, the steel loader tomorrow. Take that to New York. Take that to, Pen well, take that to Pennsylvania first. Sorry about that. Take that to Pennsylvania first. Take that to New York. Right? Pick up a load from New York. Take it to Miami. That's like six hours away from my house. Drive on home. Spend Christmas with the family. That's the plan. But also, hopefully, hopefully, like I said, we don't get the steel loader. I don't want to miss out on no money. But that's a lot of weight. And I got to buy more binders. So take this to New York. Pick up a load from New York. Take that to Miami. Miami, I'm home. So that's the game plan. Let's see, if, let's see what they say. So we got the trailer picked up from yesterday. Got the Bobcat picked up. I'm going to strap it down, show you guys uh, when, when everything's done, just because I don't have a holder to hold it. But, you know, it's a little cold out here, so my nose might be running. But we out here, you know what I mean? We out here. Y'all, we loaded New York. Here we go. Y'all, look at Riri. She, uh, she's still dirty. She out here in the swamp. You hear me? Y'all, so change your plans, right? Instead of dropping off two deliveries tomorrow, we're going to drop off one tomorrow. The other one, they switched it to delivery to Monday. So, back what I was saying. We switched the delivery to Monday. Reason being, I got called at the Customs of Canada. They told me I can cross over to Canada, right? Don't believe that. I'm letting y'all know now, you cannot cross to Canada. You cannot. Y'all can see behind me, it's right there behind me, right? Yo. <laughs> Woo, what I tell y'all, I was low key scared, man. Like I was saying, I almost went to jail. Literally made it in Canada, right? Oh, do you got any firearms? Yeah, you know, I got mine on me, this and that, this and that. So then I went through their customs. And then they wind up sending me back across to our customs. And um, once they did that, they had to do the process of this and that. And like they'd go missing. But when I tell y'all, I was scared. I was scared just because of the fact I wasn't home. I was in a whole nother country. Like I was in the, Canada, another country, right? Oh, well, yeah, because they got a border. I was in a whole nother border not knowing what's going to happen. Then I get sent back 
maybe two, three miles across the bridge to, to them over there. And it's like, damn, I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? So that was crazy. But we here. I still got the load. The load switch is going to be dropped off tomorrow. It's going to be dropped off tomorrow. Um, hold on. What, what's going on? Oh. I don't know what's going on right now. Y'all see that? You got to pay over four hours with no qualifying purchase of $10 per day. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's $10, $10 to park. Hold on real quick, hold on real quick. Let me get back with you guys. Let me get back with y'all. Back to what I was seeing before I was interrupted. But uh, yeah, man, it was crazy. When you're, not, when you're not from a place and you get in trouble, it's like, dang, am I gonna make it home? Am I gonna get there? You know what I mean? And like, the, the most scariest thing is when they disappeared. Or when they went away and then didn't say nothing to nobody. So it was like, ah, oh, damn, I'm gone, man, I'm gone. And you know, it's Christmas, so I'm trying to get home quick as possible, right? But everything worked out. They gave my gun back. Uh, they sent me on my way. So now we're going to go across Lake Erie. Well, not across it because that's going through Canada. We're going to go on the side of it and then go down through it that way. So I got to go back towards Detroit, probably five-hour trip. But we're going to get there. Y'all stay tuned for it, man. Y'all, when you got to get service on the road, y'all see the wires messed up. Hauling Bobcats, man. Still making it today though, drop off.